Cephalosporins are cell wall synthesis inhibitors, beta-lactam antibiotics. Like other beta-lactam antibiotics, cephalosporins are generally bactericidal, which means that they kill bacteria, rather than merely inhibiting their growth. Cephalosporins is divided into five generations, on the basis of spectrum of activity. In this video we will discuss about some important clinical pharmacology pearls, about these cephalosporins. So, let's get started. Firstly, cephalosporins distribute well into most body fluids and tissues. Third-generation cephalosporins like ceftriaxone and cefotaxime have good penetration into the cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, making them effective for treating bacterial meningitis. Talking about spectrum of activity. First-generation cephalosporins like cefazolin and cefalexin are primarily effective against gram-positive bacteria and some gram-negative organisms. They are commonly used for skin and soft tissue infections and surgical prophylaxis. Cefotaxime and cefepime have activity against Pseudomonas aeruginosa. And fifth-generation cephalosporin ceftaroline uniquely cover MRSA bacteria. Ceftriaxone and calcium interaction. Ceftriaxone should not be mixed or co-administered with calcium-containing IV solutions in neonates due to the risk of precipitation in the lungs and kidneys, which can be fatal. This interaction is less concerning in older children and adults, but should still be avoided if possible. Renal dosing. Most cephalosporins are renally excreted and require dose adjustment in patients with renal impairment. An exception is ceftriaxone, which is eliminated via both renal and hepatic routes allowing for use in patients with renal insufficiency without dose adjustment. Cefepime neurotoxicity. Cefepime, a fourth-generation cephalosporin, has been associated with neurotoxic side effects, including seizures and encephalopathy, especially in patients with renal impairment or those receiving high doses. So, close monitoring and dose adjustment in renal failure is crucial. Ceftonir and red stool. Ceftonir, a third-generation oral cephalosporin, can cause red discoloration of stools when taken with iron-containing products. This is due to the formation of a non-toxic complex between ceftonir and iron. Cefuroxime Axtil Bioavailability The oral bioavailability of cefuroxime Axtil improves when taken with food. Therefore, patients should be advised to take it with meals to enhance absorption and ensure therapeutic levels. Surgical prophylaxis. Cefazolin is the preferred cephalosporin for surgical prophylaxis due to its excellent coverage of common skin pathogens like Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus species. It should be administered within 60 minutes before the surgical incision to ensure adequate tissue levels during surgery. Use in meningitis. Ceftriaxone and cefotaxime are third-generation cephalosporins with excellent CNS penetration making them first-line agents for bacterial meningitis, caused by Neisseria meningitidis, Streptococcus pneumoniae, and Haemophilus influenza. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments below which drug class you'd like to see Clinical Pearls on next. Keep learning and keep growing. See you next time. Thank you.